It's hard to describe my hometown. It's a completely different planet, completely different. The climate, the weather, people, the colors, smells, everything is so contrasting. Rock and roll, lick me, I'm a dancer in the cloud of rain. Nights, this me, I'm a part of intermediate late nights. Watch me, I'm your crowd bouncing in the There were no record shops in my hometown, but I had so many friends, and those friends had so many friends, so this was like a friend web, you know, not a dark web. <laughs> there were just cassettes, there were the CDs, and we were just borrowing, you know, it was just, it was a regular thing. The common salary in Georgia is, kind of ranges from 500 to 700 gel, and it's approximately $250. This is, this is ridiculous, because you can barely survive with this money. Yeah, generally, Georgian people value freedom so much. That's why we're not in, in the Soviet Union still, you know? Because Georgian people were like the first who were kind of against the Soviet Union. And they've been always kind of protesting. I think our generation is getting more and more political every day. Government, it's, it's just this huge, big kind of organism, you know? You cannot just trust your government. You, you should never trust your government, I think. That's why we're pro protesting. Because it's not about one citizen, that something happened to one citizen. I think the government say it did something to one person. It's about like the whole structure. I mean, the whole structure is fucked up. And the next person will be you. We're always protesting outside, like it's kind of never ending story. And then you want to kind of express it through a different media. So some people just express it through music, some people express it through, I know, fashion, etc. So I guess that this is why um, people kind of tend to create here in Georgia. People in this town has this kind of creative urge, you know, they want to express themselves badly. Like a fire balls in heaven We can dot it, see the vision of our mind Slowly just wake me up and hold Like I'm a golden slate, frosty, icy cold And die for me Why is he green though? Why is she... I would say I've been messing around since I was 14 Music making, I would say it's such a mystical process. Uh, you totally depend on it, you know? I think that it's a subconscious work. It happens um, from your inner kind of emotions and your inner feelings. You are just transforming them into the waveform. Personally, I'm not even, I don't even think that it's a hobby or it's my kind of profession or something like this is just my lifestyle, you know, I'm just doing it every day. Every morning when I wake up, the very first thing I really want to do is sit right here at this desk and start working on my shit. I see this Ableton interface. It kind of changes a lot. I mean, I'm fully in and whoa. And, and nothing can stop me. All of you better save your heads and run before we load it up our favorite guns. So how my, my writing process totally depends on my mood. Like a single snare sound can determine my whole <laughs> drama. I'm just mumbling just most of the time in this dynamic microphone. And then I'm kind of cutting and editing this huge, like, 10-minute audio. And I'm catching some phrases and some words that dictate me, like, the whole concept of the um, story, like, the main story. Juxtapositions play, like, a huge role. I like to kind of uh, combine, like, this very creamy, uh, melodic, harmonious, 
um, instrumental with like a very harsh lyrics and the same goes with the visuals. It happens kind of kind of subconsciously, I'd say. And probably that's the most magical and interesting part. I also appreciate the step-by-step -step process, you know, like that some I like I like when something happens mm, kind of gradually. I hate the result more than I like the process, you know, like this everyday kind of working and writing and struggling, you know. It's up to you how, however you feel. And however you feel, at the end of the day, you are. I mean, it really works like that for me personally. It's like an eternal thing, like, you know, you can just continue writing songs like for days and days and days. <laughs> but the easiest part is to start writing a song. I mean, the hardest thing is to finish it. <laughs> That's what, what, what we're all struggling with.